Good day. In this video, this is our second video on inequalities for grade 10 and older. We're going to do a few examples of inequalities and how it is done. Here's our first two calculations. They say solve this and this inequality. You do it exactly as you would do an equation. You try and get the x alone by moving the stuff away from x. So you minus 2 on both sides. Your final answer is x is smaller than minus 6. Nothing happened to the inequality. Next one, x minus 7 is smaller than minus 1. You plus 7 on both sides to get rid of this minus 7. Your final answer is x is smaller than 6. And your inequality stayed the same. Next we're going to look at these two inequalities. And let's see what happens. We're going to start with this one. We want to get the x alone. So we move the furthest guy first. So the 7 is going to go away. It's plus 7. Because you minus 7 on both sides, you will get minus 3x on this side and minus 9 on this side. Minus 2 minus 7 is minus 9. Nothing happened to the inequality. Now to get rid of the minus 3 times to the x, I will divide by a minus 3 on both sides. See that I didn't write any inequality yet. This minus 3x divided by minus 3 will give me a plus x. Minus 9 divided by minus 3 will give me a plus 3. Using the one rule of inequalities, we swap the sign around. The rule says that if you times or divide by a negative on both sides, this sign swaps around. We divide it by a negative on both sides. Next, we're going to solve this inequality. We want to get this x alone. We minus 1 on both sides. Then, this, then we get 2x on this side and 4 on that side. And this stays the same. Then, to get the x alone, we divide by 2 on both sides, and then we get x and a 2, and this stays the same. This did not change because we did not times or divide by a negative. In this case, I want to show you that the same inequality can be done different ways. This is the one most people will stick to, but I'll show you another way. Again, we've got to solve for x. We've got to get that x alone. You minus 4 on both sides to get rid of the plus 4. And you get minus 2x, minus 1, and this stays the same. Now we divide by minus 2 on both sides to get the minus 2 away from the x. See, I didn't write anything there. Then that becomes x, and that becomes positive half. Now because of the rule, we divided by a negative on both sides. We swap the inequality around, and this is the final answer. Please stop the video and make sure you understand what I did. Now we're going to do another technique. If you do not understand this technique, just leave it. We say we take the minus 2x to that side and make it a positive 2x, but you actually plus 2x on both sides. The 4 waits here, the 3 waits here, the sign waits, and this becomes a plus 2x when it goes to this side. Now we have our x positive already. Then you minus 3 on both sides to get this 3 away from the x, and you get 1, keep the sign, and 2x on this side. Now you divide by 2 on both sides to get the 2 away from the x. The sign stays the same. Get x here and a an half here. And now we read it x is smaller than a half. The same as this one, x is smaller than a half. It looks totally different to people in the beginning. But you must decide which technique will suit you better. I think this one is safer. But if you understand, this one is good. Now the last inequality of this video. It says here solve, so we must get this x alone. Because I see a fraction in an equation inequality, I make everything fractions first. Then I times every fraction by the LCD, which is 2. I usually write 2 over 1 here, 2 over 1, 2 over 1. Here you can cancel. 2 goes in here once, 2 goes in here once. On this side, you'll have 2 times minus 3 is minus 6. Keep the sign. This will just stay 2 minus x because the bottom is gone. And 2 times minus 1 is minus 2. This stayed, and this stayed. Then, to get the plus 2 away from the minus x, I minus 2 everywhere. So I get here only the minus x. Keep the sign, keep the sign. On this side I get a minus 8. On this side I get a minus 4. I hope what you saw by now is whatever you do, you do to both sides. So I times by 2 on both sides. Now I minus 2 on both sides. Now we've got to get the minus away from the x because we want the x alone. You divide by minus 1 on both sides. I always write this step and put nothing in there. 
Then here I'll get a positive 8, here I'll get a positive x, here I'll get a positive 4. The rule says if we divide by a negative right through, the signs will swap around. So this sign swapped around, this one swapped around. So this sign swaps around, and this sign swaps around, and then this is the final answer. X is bigger than equal to 4, but X is smaller than 8. But if you understand, it's better to write it this way. You write from your smallest number to your biggest number. It's more clear for the brain. X is bigger than equal to 4, but smaller than 8. Please stop the video and have a look what happened in this inequality. Please indicate whether you liked or disliked this video and subscribe to the channel. If there's anything in inequalities that you're not sure about, you can WhatsApp that problem to this number with a clear WhatsApp photo. Then we will try and solve the problem, send back an answer for you to you for free as soon as possible.